Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got an updated workaround for 2025 that's been requested a lot. I'm going to show you step by step how to try linking your Thing Core Swim account with TradingView, or at the very least, help you figure out what's supported and what your best options are as of right now. By the end of this video, you'll be able to quickly check if Thing Core Swim is available in TradingView and understand exactly how these platforms connect, or unfortunately, sometimes don't. I know it can be confusing, so let's break it down together. First, let's head over to TradingView. Just go ahead and open your browser and log into your TradingView account. If you don't have one yet, you can follow along by creating a free account. It only takes a minute. The reason we start here is that TradingView acts as the central hub where you can check which brokers are supported for live trading integration. Think of TradingView as the control tower for your trading activities, while brokers like Thingcore Swim act as the airlines you might want to board. Now, once you're on TradingView's main dashboard, look at the very top of the screen where you see the main navigation bar. Up there, you'll spot a tab labeled Products. Go ahead and click on that. It's usually right near the center, easy to miss if you're new, but it's the gateway to all of TradingView's different features. By clicking on Products, you're essentially telling TradingView, hey, show me all the tools and integrations you offer. From that list, scroll down and select Trading Panel. This panel is designed to help you connect to different brokers directly through TradingView, so you can execute trades without bouncing back and forth between tabs or apps. It's a time saver for active traders, but only if your broker is supported. All right, so inside the trading panel, look for the option that says All Brokers. Give that a click. This will pull up a complete list of brokers that TradingView currently supports for direct trading integration. Don't worry if the list looks a bit overwhelming at first, you can use the search function at the top to make things easier. Type in Thingcore Swim into the search box. Take your time with this and make sure you spell it exactly right. If Thingcore Swim appears in the results, congratulations, you'll see an option to connect and you can follow TradingView's prompts to link your accounts up. That's the best case scenario. But here's the important part. If you don't see Thingcore Swim in the list, unfortunately, that means TradingView doesn't currently support direct integration with Thingcore Swim as of 2025. I know that can be disappointing, especially if you're a fan of Thingcore Swim's tools or you've been hopping for a seamless workflow. Sadly, this is pretty common since not all brokerages let third-party services like TradingView access their accounts for live trading. Think of it like having two smart devices that just don't speak the same language. No matter how much you want them to work together, it's out of your hands for now. And that's really all there is to it. By checking the trading panel in TradingView, you'll get a definitive answer in just a few clicks, no hunting through forums or outdated blog posts. If Thinkorswim ever does get added to TradingView's broker list, you'll be the first to know exactly where to look. And remember, you can always use TradingView for charting and analysis even if you can't trade directly from your Thingcore Swim account. Just manage your trades manually on their platform. Thanks for following along with this quick tutorial. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments if you have other brokers you'd like me to check out or if you run into any issues. Don't forget to subscribe for more updated tutorials and trading tips. Good luck out there and I'll see you in the next video.